All right, welcome back. So today we are gonna be making the raw hammers. I've got the solid, solid raw hammer. Uh, and I decided to go and test the hybrid version. I know there's a pearl version. Um, usually, well, bottom line is I decided to go with these two. Um, I feel like typically more likely to find a little bit more use with these two than the pearls for me personally. Uh, but anyway, so we talk, talk, I think you guys have seen me do these before now. I am doing the 14 pound balls in, in these particular balls for testing. Um, you know, we have, you know, standard specs, nothing, nothing special. I'm going to get into, you know, drilling the balls here and talk a little bit about what, what we expect. So it looks like hammer is, uh, or Brunswick, whatever you want to call it, introduced this raw hammer core um, in the solid. You have the juiced solid they're using. Uh, let me see what the finish is. So it's like 500, 1500 grit and 3000 uh, with the sea air pads. And um, you know, this is a juiced hybrid. Uh, what's interesting is, you know, they basically have a medium RG low differential type ball. Um, this is now in the lowest line essentially that Hammer has. And, you know, I can't help but think, well, how they're going to compare to the Vibe line, which was super popular, um, probably stronger than, you know, where they, where they fit. Which is sometimes tricky because, you know, from a, uh, let's say from a general bowling standpoint, it's nice to have entry level balls that are, you know, that are great options and you don't have to really spend all the high end money and still, you know, make, you know, bowl pretty well and have good coverage in your arsenal with low end pieces that are, you know, inexpensive to get into. Um, with these, you know, it, it kind of goes back to the original sort of raw uh, hammer formula, like the burn and so on. Um, those balls, the difference is they actually had a higher RG, but, you know, differential is probably more important and the differentials were about the same, right? Somewhere in the low 30s. Um, but that makes them very different than the vibes, at least on paper. Uh, initial thoughts, yeah, I don't... I don't think these are gonna roll like the vibes. So I think if you're looking for that, I'm not sure I would expect it. I know they had the fugitive line, but actually I feel like the fugitive uh, balls were also kind of punched above their weight. I think these are actually gonna fit when you think about Arsenal building, you know, down a little further, um, which will be a little potentially below the vibes um, back when they were around, but I think these are gonna have a kind of smoother characteristic that are gonna work for, for a few different types of bowlers. We'll talk about it a little bit, but let's get into, let's get into the drilling and then we'll come back and talk a little more. So, again, we got this. Oh, a hammer, we've got about a three inch pin, two and a half inch pin, something like that. It's pretty normal now with the way they come. Um, we don't have to worry about the top weights anymore. So what I'm gonna do is probably go around, and I think I've, I've talked to you guys before in previous videos. I'm gonna use about like a um, four by 30 or so, right? This is a, a low diff ball. I wanna get sort of, a little bit more flare from it. I like the flare. Flare helps, you know, uh, the ball reaction for me um, makes it a little more um, smoother and predictable, right? I like I like the ball to flare. And actually, at some point, I'll talk a little bit in a different video. F flare or lack thereof has a significant impact on the pattern as you bowl. 
Um, I know there's a lot of talk about urethane and people get upset when people vote with urethane and, and there are some, you know, reasonable or legitimate reasons for that, but low flare does have an impact on, on the patterns as well, but that's topic for another video. So. All right, so this is what I'm going to do with these layouts. I'm gonna do them identically. They are going to be um, four by 30. And uh, yeah, that should you know, give me a, a good sense for you know, how this ball behaves with you know, a um, kind of at its, its, I don't wanna say max potential, but almost max potential um, and, and to match you know, my style, um, smaller valve to get it to, to turn over and not be, you know, super lazy, um, four inch pin to give me a little bit of flair. Okay, let's get into drilling. So these are what the layouts look like. Uh, I'm gonna finish up the ITs shortly uh, and the grips. So we've got a four by 30. Same deal here on the uh, raw hammer hybrid version, four by 30. Um, again, work on the ITs. So just so we finish up, um, what do we think we're gonna see? So we started talking about it a little bit. You know, I, when I think about balls uh, in the low diff world, if you will, I think balls like the IQ Tour, the Web Tour, um, basically they serve the same purpose. Essentially like a kind of multi-purpose, versatile ball, um, you know, whether it, completely fills the sort of benchmark ball. Hard to say, I think it depends on the bowler. Um, sometimes I feel like a ball like this could fit in the mid control category when we talk about the Arsenal building. Sometimes it's a specialty ball because sometimes like I may want more ball than this uh, if I'm bowling on a sports shot as my mid control. Um, but for house shots, I actually think these two balls are going to be pretty, pretty good options for people. Cheap entry, um, you know, this is probably going to, I figure, smooth. I'm, I'm anticipating it's smooth, like Web Tour, uh, IQ Tour, uh, Bonus, I think, from Radical. I'm expecting this one to be basically a little cleaner, a little more shape. I didn't want to um, have the pearl where it's just we know it's even going to be a little even even more cleaner and theoretically more shaped, um, but I kind of wanted to go with the hybrid because for me the hybrid kind of t t typically tends to be a, a nice blend where I don't really want extra uh, back end from the left side. So I figured let's test these two and see how they go. But I'm thinking you know how shot bowlers are going to have a, a, a pretty good time where a you know, high power bowler is gonna be able to put a ball like this uh, in the mid control. Um, 
use it on a lot of stuff, get that smooth, controllable reaction. Um, and I could see, say, like, you know, uh, low, lower speed bowlers that, you know, will tend to see shape because of their speed will benefit from, you know, a ball like this. It's going to get down the lane a little bit, probably going to give a little more angle than, you know, someone who's using speed, of course. Right? So these balls have low diffs. They're not going to have huge booming moves down the back end. They're going to be kind of control type uh, motions. But when you have a low speed house bowler, I, I feel like this is probably going to be a, a decent option, but we'll see how it looks. And, uh, you know, a higher power bowl is going to be able to throw a ball like this in the middle. So anyway, we'll see. We're going to test it soon and, um, you know, see if what we anticipated is correct or, or if we need to put it somewhere else. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.